is Walter Kane, detective in the uh, wonderful city of New York. For years I've been on a case that sees me trying to get into the infamous Night Owls drug ring. My partner has called me to a crime scene, a murder. What does murder have to do with a drug ring? Guess I'll find out shortly. So, you finally arrived. Not that I wanted to. I'm here now. What do you not understand about the word urgent? God damn it, Walter, get your shit together. So what do we have here? Mordecai Smolinski. He was a landlord of this godforsaken place. Surprised that places like this even have landlords. Not only that, your man was apparently a link in your drug ring case. Why am I not surprised? So that's it. Problem solved. He was killed by a junkie. I don't think so, Walter. There's something else. He had a biochip in his head. Who does it these days? Someone hacked the biochip and killed him. I don't think your regular junkies can do that. They must have uh, overloaded the circuit board or something. And according to my scanner, the chip was accessed by someone in this building. The signal doesn't go far. All right, so I guess I gotta talk to the locals. Yeah, Walter, there's this other thing. The biochip in his head is a memory unit. I think it contains more info about the Night Owl's drug ring, and get this. We have the chip removed, but it's slowly dying out. Some kind of safety mechanism or something to destroy itself once the host dies. You need to find your guy in about five minutes. Otherwise, this biochip is of no use to us. Copy that. Who exactly is the victim? Mordecai Smolinski, an immigrant from Poland. He's been renting out these apartments for decades, but apparently it didn't really make much profit. So the man started selling drugs? Pretty much, yeah. He's linked to your Night Owl's drug ring, but we don't exactly know how big of a player he is, or uh, was. Seriously? They hire such low lives nowadays? I always thought they were a more high class kind of operation. And hard times require hard decisions. I guess they're running out of dealers since we started hunting them down. However, I suspect that with the information in this chip, we can probably link Night Owl's business with other open cases the department has. Not many drug dealers are that stupid to leave a memory biochip inside their heads. I guess it kind of fits the narrative of this guy. Who exactly is the victim? Mordecai Smolinski, an immigrant from Poland. He's been renting out these apartments for decades, but apparently it didn't really make much profit. So the man started selling drugs? Pretty much, yeah. He's linked to your Night Owl's drug ring, but we don't exactly know how big of a player he is, or uh, was. Seriously? They ha and, however, I guess it kind of So what exactly killed him? It looks like the biochip basically short-circuited in his brain. Boom. Do you have any idea what caused this short circuit? It was definitely some kind of hack. Somewhere in this building. Got any leads? Not really. I got here just a few minutes before you, so I didn't get far. Who do you think are the primary suspects? Hmm, hard to say. Probably had a lot of enemies considering this job. But it could be anyone, drug or not drug related. Look at this place. If I was living in such a hellhole with him as my landlord, I'd probably want to kill him too. I'd start by asking his neighbors. Alright, I'm off. Don't forget, Walter. Five minutes. I don't need to go through Smolinski's desk right now. Hmm, it looks like he has some kind of smartwatch. I bet it's somehow connected to his biochip. This chip really is dying out. I don't have much time left. The guy looks terrible. From what I can see, he probably looked to be in pretty bad shape even before he died. Good evening, sir. Uh-huh. 
I'm Detective Walter Kane. Can I ask your name? None of your business. Well, seeing as I'm a detective investigating a murder on these premises, it is my goddamn business. Whatever. Just call me Ghost. What do you want? There's been a murder. Your landlord, Mr. Smolinski, was killed this afternoon. Finally, some good news. What do you mean? That guy deserved worse than death. I'm surprised he didn't get it sooner. Got it. Did you see anything suspicious lately? In here, seriously. You're probably the only thing in this building that isn't suspicious. And that I'm not even so sure about. Like I said, I'm not surprised the bastard didn't die sooner. What was your relationship with Smolensky? I hated him, just like everyone else. What exactly was your problem with him? More like what wasn't a problem. That guy knew we were stuck here and without anywhere else to go. He knew that he would get our rent money no matter what. We are no lifers. We have no hope, no future. And he took advantage of it. I see. Do you have any idea who might have done it? No idea. I'm just pissed it wasn't me. Well, what do you mean? Everyone wanted me dead. He was torturing us. How did he torture you? You know, we mutants hate high temperatures. That asshole was heating up the building in summer just to make us suffer. Why would he do that? Beats me. He was a psycho. I can tell you that much. Why didn't you report him to the police? Seriously? Me? A mutant? Reporting human? You live in a dream world, buddy. I would probably die just on my way to the police station. Did you know he had a biochip in his head? Don't know. Don't care. The biochip was the cause of his death. It blew inside of his head. I hope it hurt him. What do I have to do with this? Just asking if you have any idea what this chip was used for. He sometimes came back home with some new tech stuff, like TVs, computers and such. I'm not sure where he got money for it. So I would assume that she was one of many of his spendings. Did you know he was a drug dealer? No clue. He sure didn't look like one. Looked more like a truck user than anything. So you didn't buy drugs from him? Why do you assume I do drugs? I didn't. What is this? A raid on some junkies? We have a bigger problem than that. I sincerely don't care if you do or don't do drugs. All I want to know is if you ever bought anything from him. I did. Once. It wasn't much of a drug, more like a medicine for my mutant-related problems. It was expensive as hell, and I was surprised he was able to get it. So he was connected to some important drug people, you think? I don't know. Makes no sense to me, he was a nobody. I have no idea where he got the medicine from. Maybe he was more important than you think. What were you doing this afternoon? Working? It's Saturday. So what? You are working as well. Good point. I work at the post office. I had some unfinished letters to deal with before Monday. So you were in the office today? No, I was working from my apartment. The office is closed on weekends. Good evening, ma'am. What do you want? I am Detective Walter Kane. What is your name, miss? I'm not talking to pigs. Do you know Mordecai Smolinski? Are you seriously asking me if I know my own landlord? Of course I know that old bastard. Why? He was murdered this afternoon. Wow, what a surprise. Old bastard had it coming. 
What do you mean? Every single living being in this building hated him. <laughs> I bet even his own furniture did too. And yeah, my name is Claire. Claire Holiday. Do you know who might have killed him? Have no idea, but like I said, it really doesn't surprise me. Could be anyone, really. We have a clue that it was someone from this building. Any ideas? Hmm, not really. But I know one thing's for sure. We're all gonna party tonight. Did you know that your landlord was part of a drug ring in the city? Figures. But no, I didn't know that. And you wouldn't happen to sometimes partake, would you? Who wants to know? Seeing as I'm a detective, I would like to know. Hmm. No, I don't do drugs. You realize that it is a felony to lie to a detective. All right. Who doesn't do drugs around here? Look at this place. You don't want to live in reality. So you think I was buying shit from Smolinski? No way. I was just asking. And I was just answering. No, I didn't. Like I said, I didn't even know he was a dealer. Do you know anyone else in this building who is also doing drugs? Ha! Huh. Seriously? Your first time in the ghetto, copper? There are probably more junkies than leaves on the trees outside. Did you know Mr. Smolinski had a biochip? I mean, I didn't know that, but that's pretty normal nowadays, isn't it? It is, yeah. It was actually the cause of death. The chip exploded in his brain. Did he suffer? I think it was quite quick. Dang. No justice in this world. Do you think his death might have been connected to this biochip? Anyone wanting to access it? I don't know anyone who would want to have anything to do with the old bastard. But, for some reason, one of the tenants, this trucker named Joe, has been visiting him lately. I mean, I don't care, but it's weird since everyone hated Smolinski. Do you have any idea why this Joe visited him? No idea. But since you mentioned that drug thing, maybe that's somehow connected? I don't know, you're the detective here. What were you doing this afternoon? Me? Nothing. Watching TV. What was on? I watched My Precious Loves. The only show that actually has a proper story. Do you watch it too, Detective? Can't say I do. It's not my kind of thing. What can you tell me about Ghost, the man living next door? Uh, not much. You are in New York, sir. People don't talk to each other. Okay, but you know him at least a little bit, don't you? I mean, I see him in the hall. Seen anything unusual, maybe? Hmm, maybe like two weeks ago? I saw him get in an argument with Smolinski. But honestly, that's nothing unusual here. Do you know what this argument was about? No idea. Money, I guess. What else would it be? What do you do for work? I work in the computer store down the street. So you are tech savvy? Eh, I wouldn't say so. It's just the closest job I found. Everything else is on the other side of the bridge. Do you know who might have killed him? Have no idea, but like I said, it really doesn't surprise me. Could be anyone, really. We have a clue that it was someone from this building. Any ideas? Hmm, not really. But I know one thing's for sure. We're all gonna party tonight. This watch is somehow connected to Smolinski's chip. This indicates the biochip's lifespan. I have less than five minutes before it dies out. I 
I've already spoken to Rogers. Better get back. I've already spoken to This chip really is dying out. I don't have much time left. There is a TV Guide magazine here. Maybe I can find out if Miss Holiday told me the truth. I don't need to go through Smolinski's desk right now. Hmm. This magazine says that football was on all day, not my precious loves. So it looks like Miss Holiday wasn't completely honest with me. But why? Good evening, ma'am. What do you want? Do you know anything about this watch? It's just a watch. Why? It is connected to Smolinski's biochip, and it's protected by a password. So? Do you have any clue what his password may be? Maybe he's got a dog or something? If he got a dog, it would already be dead. Knowing what he was like, his password was most likely... Screw everyone, especially mutants, 99, pound sign, pound sign. You lied to me, Miss Holiday. What? There weren't any My Precious Loves episodes on TV today. They showed a football game this afternoon. <sighs> All right. I was buying some stuff to ease my mind. From who? Random guy on the streets. So you were outside the building when the murder happened? Uh, I guess so. I don't know when exactly it happened, but I was out most of the day. Sir. Uh huh. What can you tell me about your neighbor, Claire Holiday? Apart from acting all high and mighty, I don't know anything about her. Do you know if she sometimes visited Mr. Smolinski? Probably. Like everyone in the building, we gotta pay rent. No, I mean for something else, maybe. Mm, let me think. Hmm, I did see her handing over something to Smolinski, but I have no idea what it was. Maybe money, maybe she was broke so she gave him something to compensate for the money, I don't know. Thank you. Did you see your neighbor, Claire Holiday, today? I didn't see her, but I definitely heard it over the wall. What did you hear? Nothing in particular. All I know is that she was there, talking to someone over the phone, I guess. Good evening, ma'am. What do you want? You lied again. You were in your apartment. What? That's bullshit. Ghost told me he heard you speaking to someone. Ghost? Seriously? You believe that good-for-nothing junkie? Well, that's what he said, and why would he lie? And why would I lie? He must be hiding something. I don't know. Is he trying to set me up? Ma'am, I think it's time to tell the truth. I... <sighs> All right. I freaking did it, okay? I'm the one in charge, not him. Goddamn bastard was trying to boss me around, and I just couldn't have that. Believe that? Him? Bossing the boss? Night Owls can't have that. Can't have that. Claire Holiday, I am arresting you for the murder of Mordecai Smolinski. Ultimately, it was pretty clear that Claire Holiday was the killer. She had everything. A motivation, a paper-thin alibi, and devilish good looks. 
perfectly orchestrated performance by the now obvious perpetrator. After all these years, I never would have guessed that I would find my night owl nemesis in such a hellhole. But I'm glad it's over. For now. <laughs>